Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Um, we are now in, in the uh, review part of your second periodical test. Your second periodical test is fast approaching, right? Um, actually, the exam is already done. It is actually uh, encoded already and prepared for next week. Next week, ba? Or this week? Um, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, right? For your exam. I will just give you a brief review of your exam. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Yes, Margie. Um, did you check the answer, the activity that you gave um, us? Yes. Again, MD. The activity that you gave us, sir, ba? the electronic configuration. Yeah, it includes electronic configuration. Again, it includes electronic configuration. Um, the coverage for your exam is from module one to module two. Okay. Remember the module one? The long one? Grade nine? The hereditary inheritance of variations. Are you still with me? Yes, sir. Oh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. So it includes uh, the Punnett square, the monohybrid, the hybrid, the phenotypic ratio, and the genotypic ratio. I will give you now the overview of your second theoretical test. Okay. Test 1A is a multiple choice. By the way, total number of items or points for your second critical test is 60 items or 60 points. Test 1A is a multiple choice question. Test 1B is identification. Test 2A is electronic configuration. You just need to supply the correct electronic configuration. You know already the pattern, right? That's the important thing. And you have also, you need also to, you know, to get a, or to prepare the table, uh, the, the periodic table elements. Test to B is DNA sequencing. The codons and anticodons. Test to C is hybridization. Okay, you need to identify the probable offspring through their genotypic and phenotypic ratios. Right again, instead of having a, a Punnett square being typed, all you have to do is to identify the probable offspring through their genotypic and phenotypic ratios. So you need to, to have a scratch paper and lay out it or write it in the scratch paper. And you need to write the phenotypic and the genotypic ratios, okay? And the questions here, by the way, are in a problem form. Okay, you need to resolve it using the Punnett square. It is in the problem form. Okay, like for example, a male is being crossed with this female. What would be the possible offsprings? Okay. So uh, your answers are phenotypes and genotypes. Okay. Again, 
The number of items is 60 items, all in all. And I think we, we tackled this one. Uh, we, we, we gone with um, a lot of discussions with this and even electronic configuration. By the way, for electronic configuration, you just need to give the electronic the, the, the correct pattern of the electronic configuration of that certain element. Um, you need not to put the spin orbitals, just the pattern of the electronic configuration. Question, we don't question. need to answer. Again, MD? We don't need to find the one of the electronic configuration, only the patterns. Yeah, the correct electronic configuration. Those are patterns. Okay? You need not to put the spin orbitals, the boxes ba, and the arrow up, arrow down. Okay. No need na siya ibutang. All I want to have is, or your answers to have is, the correct pattern of the electronic configuration. Okay. Supposed to be, your exam is around 80 items, but I, I actually make it short. That's why it's already 60. Okay. Other questions? No, sir. No, sir. So I have only four attempts in the electronic configuration. The rest... Oh, how many are you in the online, Gani? Margie? Four. 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 Uh, four. Let's go ahead. Any other questions? Questions? Edsel, MD, Margie? No, sir. Okay. No, sir. What I want you to do now is I want you to to have a self-review. We already discussed this one. And if you have questions, if you have questions with a certain topic, please let me know in our GC so that I can supply you with the correct information. Okay? Any other concerns? No, sir. Before we go? Okay. Um, so far... So far, we are gone with our topic for the second uh, quarter. Okay. And hopefully, uh, I can get high grades from you guys. Since the discussion, we, we have a thorough discussion for this. We have given you a lot of examples, right? So good luck for your exam. I think that will be all for today. Have a nice day. Bye, Thank, sir. You, sir. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir.